So we have had an amazing morning. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, the School of Permaculture is growing. And this morning we had an amazing volunteer uh, meeting of the minds coming together to branch out into more education and aid in orphanage work and consulting and events and, and all this other stuff. And <laughs> we also had a Pyrex explode and you know, my little dog went and tried to eat the glass. So we're paying close attention to him. So we gone and done it, man. Uh, we're moving to the farm. That's right. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out the housing situation. We got a couple of people already out there uh, having, having some options for us to look at. So we're gonna go check it out. Let's see what the opportunities are in Ben Franklin, Texas. Uh, for our uh, temporary housing uh, while we're building the school and uh, the farm site and the houses out there. Let's go check it out. Wow. We're almost out to the farm. Uh, there's just a big difference, obviously, between city life and country life. In the little town uh, called Pecan Gap, right before uh, our little unincorporated town where we think there's 50 to 100 people who knows but uh, this is this is always a welcome right when we come through here help somebody today that's what's up so this is uh, Tonda hello <laughs> and Tonda is one of our our, our awesome neighbors and Tonda, uh, this is your camper. Uh, take us on a quick, just little tour. Okay, this is a 36 foot, 1989 Holiday Rambler that we've used since about 2002. While we were building our shop, our house, and out here from California on vacation. And uh, I recently redid it because we had a re wedding reception out here. But I painted the vinyl wallpaper and replaced the glass in the cabinet doors. One broke when our grandson was here. So I've got to get a new piece. But painted the, the vinyl wallpaper. You can do that with a oil-based primer and then um, latex paint over the top of that. Then I recovered the couch. This couch pulls out and makes into a double bed. Looks and, nice. Uh, we painted this wall. Got all new blinds a couple of years ago. We redid the little light fixtures. We um, redid the floor with carpet squares so you can pull them up and look at a leak. So this needs to be pulled up and walk clean. And then I painted all the walls in here in the bedroom. The same treatment. So I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with your with your skills. Um, so this is definitely uh, uh, comfort living. It in, is in, in the country. Sit on that bed. I mean, that bed is so comfortable. Okay, here, go, go. There you go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take a nap. There you go. My baby girl's outside. I better get out there. <laughs> this place is awesome. Lynn, you're awesome. It's good to meet you as my neighbor. You bet. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. And uh, and right let's back. let's go check let's go check out the next one. So it's a little bit nerve wracking coming in to this one because um, it's been here so long. I think these trees are holding it up. So the deal is like, you know, hey, if you can move it, you can have it. Uh, but I always would feel bad about taking uh, <laughs> these trees out. This one looks to be a pecan tree and that one looks to be a hackberry. Um, let's take a look inside. Wow. Come on in. We 
mean, what do you guys think? It's got potential, right? Just needs a little elbow grease. One pro to this property, well, we wouldn't be on the property, but one pro to this location, we've got these uh, three pine trees. So, you know, this is a uh, rocket stove fuel, and you know, on our farm for our kitchen, we're most likely gonna be utilizing two rocket stoves. So, always be on the lookout for this stuff. We got two houses given to us, right? One was the, the trailer, and the other one is an actual house. Now, this house behind me is probably from the 1920s, and um, it's here in kind of the outskirts of downtown Cooper, which is, I think, the seat of uh, the county that we're in. So, uh, you know, I'm just super grateful that anybody would think about giving us anything free, so let's go take a look inside. Free house, right? Uh, obviously needs some work, but very unique old house. Potentially live in it for a short amount of time because you know that's really what we're doing anyway. How can we uh, get a, sh uh, a temporary housing uh, area for very inexpensive, and maybe fix it up, put it on the corner, and have it as a little market or a little store uh, front on the corner of our farm. Um, so there's some potential there, right? So. We just gotta do the math. How much will it cost to fix this guy up, to move it to the farm? Those dollars add up, and you know, right now we're looking for uh, temporary housing to, uh, to make way financially uh, to get the, uh, the living house and, and the school and all the infrastructure there. So let's go check out something else. We also saw this, this type of housing. So it's another older house, but it's not as old, right? And this one was converted to a barbecue restaurant that is no longer in existence. But, uh, you know, so this is still same scenario, temporary, get it out there, potentially use it as another uh, type of structure, either housing or a store later on. But most of it's already put in. Plumbing's good, roof's somewhat good, very good temporary housing. It's an option. Um, you know, and, and we're looking at all options right now as we make this move over the next few months. Hey, I can't see in that window. What in the sang dang? Hey. 